So you know how TV remotes have dedicated buttons sometimes to launch apps like Netflix? I just found out you can do that with your iPhone. On my phone, I made a TV folder which has shortcuts to apps on my Apple TV. You can see when I have one for Crunchyroll, I'll tap it and I'll launch the app. And as you probably guessed, these are shortcuts from the Shortcuts app that are extremely easy to make. And what that means is that you could totally assign these to things like Back Tap, Siri itself, or your action button. It also means that you can put them on your Apple Watch and run them from there as well. You can even put them as a complication directly on your watch face. This is possible because if I go to my Shortcuts app and go to Create a New Shortcut and then go to Add an Action, then go to Apps and then scroll down until I find remote, you'll see that there are a lot of different options you can choose from to include in your shortcuts. And you can just use one of these if you want to keep it simple, or you can even stack them. Let's say I wanted to just make a quick shortcut to open an app. I can just select the open app on Apple TV option, select this part up here, and then choose my TV that I want to control, which in this case is living room TV. And then it'll give me the option to choose the app that I want to open. And I can pick from any of the apps that are currently installed on the Apple TV. So not only can I go to say Netflix, but I can also go to the NFL or my Nest app or Peacock or Photos. And for the record, you can have it ask you each time if you want to pick an app you want to open with that shortcut. But since they're all individual actions, you can just stack them in shortcuts to create a chain of events, much like you would with say an old Harmony remote. So say I tap my Netflix movie shortcut, you'll see that it'll turn on my lights, it'll change my input, it'll change my profile in the Apple TV to my own profile, and it will put it into my Netflix app. 